How you doing, brothers and sisters? Uh, we're the brothers from the Gathering of Christ Church, and we thank you for all your positive responses. And we're glad that the word of the Lord is going out, and it's enlightening so many people. We thank the Most High, Ahaya, Asha Ahaya. He says, I am that I am. That's his holy name. In the name of Yeshia, which is Jesus Christ. Wa-Rawak, which is the Holy Spirit. We thank the Most High that we received the Holy Spirit to give the truth in the last days. Today we're going over the true understanding, beyond any shadow of a doubt, of the lost tribes of Israel. Who are they? You're going to find out, you're going to find out that the Holy Bible is not just a religious book. It's a history book. And we're going to show you who the lost tribes are. Uh, you've had some uh, scholars claim uh, who the 12 tribes are. In the Mormon book, they try to go into who the 12 tribes are, or the lost 10 tribes, rat, uh, mind you. And you have some Israelite groups. Now, the majority of Israelite groups I know teach the 12 tribes based on a teaching that came from a brother named Aria on who the 12 tribes are according to the Bible. You're going to find that that brother, which is strong in his spirit and we thank him for what he's trying to do, you're going to find out that he was wrong. We're going to go into the 12 tribes according to the Bible and show you beyond any shadow of a doubt who the 12 tribes are. Now, one reason we have to do this is because in this place we call America, uh, which have been taken over by the Western world, have placed images up like this, saying that this is the angel Raphael, and this is Mary, and this is Christ. See, I know a lot of you know that, okay, we know that Christ wasn't European, we know the angels are not European, and they're just pictures. That's what they say. But a picture speaks a thousand words. If you take these pictures and put it in the book, when your children go to read the Bible, they're going to think that the angels, Christ, Mary, Peter, Joseph, uh, Moses, all the people of the Bible, they will think that they are European. And that was a tactic that the Roman Catholic Church used as a form of white supremacy over the earth what we call spiritual white supremacy. But we're going to go into the Bible and show you who are the lost tribes of Israel. And we're not going to blame anyone because we know that God put the 12 tribes of Israel in the state that they are in today. And now the same God is giving their identity back to his people. Let's read Hosea 4 and 1. Hosea 4 and 1. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. So the Lord is telling Israel, hear his word. Hear his word, not a doctrine. Children of Israel, hear the word of God, which is the Bible. Go ahead. For the Lord hath a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. The Lord have a problem with the inhabitants of this land. The people that are living here. He have a problem with, with this land. Why? Because there is no truth. There is no what? There is no truth. There is no truth here. We can't find the lost sheep because of all the lies that have been placed before the lost sheep. The lies that are set up in our institutions to keep the lost sheep lost. Read. Nor mercy. There is no mercy. Read. Nor knowledge of God in the land. And there is no real knowledge of the true God in Christ in this land. We're getting a watered down version of the gospel in this land. We're getting a European spin on the Bible in this land. And through that, the lost sheep have not been found. But they will be found today. Open up your Bible today. Open up your book. Open up your mind, your heart, your spirit. And you're going to find that everything we bring in here from the Most High is 100% fact and true and cannot be disputed. Let's get Colossians 1 and 26. Colossians 1 and 26. Colossians 1 and 26. Even the mystery which had been hid from ages and from generations.
but now it's made manifest to his saints. The mysteries that have been hid for ages and for generations are now being made manifest to his saints. All right? So all the mysteries, all the seals that have been put in the book, the Lord is now revealing it to his true saints, those that, that follow the commandments and teach the true gospel and understanding of Jesus Christ. Those that are saints of the Most High. And the people that he gave his laws, statutes, and commandments to. Let's go to Matthew 10, 5, and 6, starting with Jesus Christ, or, or whom we ignorantly call Jesus Christ in this land. His name is Yeshaya, which means deliverer or savior. Read Matthew 10, 5, and 6. We're going, we're going into now breaking down the 12 tribes of Israel, the lost sheep. Read Matthew 10, 5, and 6. These twelve Jesus sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles. These twelve Jesus sent forth. Who are they? The twelve disciples. He gave them an order, a commandment. Go not into the way of the Gentiles. Now we know that later on, the disciples, along with Paul, went to Gentiles. But we're going to give the understanding on that also. But before that commandment was decreed, Christ made this commandment, go not into the way of the Gentiles. Read that again. These twelve Jesus sent forth and commanded them, saying, go not into the way of the Gentiles. Don't go to the Gentiles. Who are the Gentiles? Non-Israelites. People that are not from the chosen seed of the children of Israel. Read. And into any city of the Samaritans enter ye not. Go ahead. But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. He said, I would rather you go unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And he said, don't go into the land of Samaria because the children of Israel were taken out of the land of Samaria and Gentiles inhabited the land. We're going to prove that. So Christ told them to go to the lost sheep. What makes a people lost? No identity. No natural customs or culture of their own. No land to call their own. No identity. Total captivity and slavery. You're lost from who you are. So Christ gave the disciples a commandment to say, listen, I need you to go to the lost of my people. The people who don't know that they are actually from the seed of Israel. I need you to go to them because they're lost. All right? Read Matthew 15 and 24 out of the Bible. See, and we follow Christ. So if Christ said go to the lost sheep, we're going to go to the lost sheep. Now, every, everyone now is trumpeting Gentile, Gentile, Gentile. That's fine. But how can we ignore that Christ said go to the lost sheep? You just can't go into a Gentile teaching and don't go into who the Israelites are. Paul, Even Paul says the Jew first and then the Gentile. You just can't have your teachings based on the Gentiles. That's wrong. That's wrong because the first thing Christ commanded his disciples were to go to those lost sheep. And we're going to find those lost sheep today. Read Matthew 15 and 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Christ understood who he was sent to. The people that fell from the old covenant. So if they fell from the old covenant, they needed what? A new covenant or a new testament to get back to the Father. All right? Now, let's go into the lost sheep of the house of Israel. How can we identify them in the last days? All right? Just to give you a, a brief synopsis of what happened. Solomon, which was king over all of Israel, that's David's father. He sinned with many.